Hello guys, you probably know about a tool called Laravel Pint, which is built on top of PHP CS Fixer for code style consistency. Created by Nuno Maduro, core team member, it works like this. For example, in your project you have something to fix for code styling, for example, unused imports. This is also considered code styling. So, you can open the console and run vendor bin pint, like this, and it would fix the issues within 76 files, for example, and as you can see, it automatically removed the import, which is unused. You can explore the pint individually. I will link that in the description below the documentation. But what I saw on Twitter is a tweet by Lucas Giovanni, who showed how to configure that in PHP Storm, which I use to actually watch for the changes of the files and fix them automatically. So let's return that error, kind of code styling error, and then I have a watcher in my PHP Storm in properties. It's called pint. And this is how it is defined. For PHP files in this project, run vendor bin pint with specifically file of what has been changed. And there are variables in PHP Storm for settings like this one. So project file dir and file relative path. And then you can enable or disable some of the settings and then show console always or if error happens. For the purpose of this video, I've put that as always. So OK, and let's enable that. Apply OK. And let's add another model, for example, app model, another user actually, let it be. We save and what happens? See that happens automatically. At the bottom, I see Laravel pint being executed and then the file has been edited for the correct code styling. Isn't that cool? So in that way, you can kind of forget about code styling if you configure that ID. And in general, such automations are a really powerful thing as long as you, of course, consult your team what should be the code styling, what should be the rules. But if you configure that properly, you don't need to even think about it. Laravel Pint and other tools maybe would fix that for you immediately after you save the file, save the changes in the code of your PHP Storm. This is just one of the examples. And in the comments below, share your automations like this one. Have you configured your IDE? Maybe it's PHP Storm, maybe it's VS Code or something else for some automations like this one. Let's share your ideas with other community members and save time for everyone. Thanks again, Lucas, for his tweet and see you guys in other videos.